Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magsagot tayo ng isang random math problem coming from number theory which is related, related dun sa taon natin. Siyempre, bagong taon mga Lodi Geeks and Happy New Year sa inyo mga Lodi Geeks. And this problem is for our math enthusiasts out there. So especially sa mga beginners, baka gusto matutunan paano kayo nakuha yung ganitong klase ng problem. How many integral factors does 2024 have? So, if we are dealing with the number of integral factors of a certain number, so the first thing that you have to do is to do its prime factorization. So, the prime factorization of 2024, notice that the given number is divisible by 2. So, 2024 divided by 2, so that's 1, 0, 1, 2 divided by 2 since it ends with 2. So, we have 5, 0, 6, another ending with 2. So, that is 2, um, 253. So for the last number now that we obtained, notice that the sum of the odd digits, so that's 2 plus 3 is 5. And if we subtract it to the sum of the even of the even digits, like for example, this case, we only have the second one, which is 5. So 2 plus 3, 5, minus 5, 0. So that is the divisibility rule for 11. So if you want to review it, you can check it on the internet or any materials related to that. But... To make a number divisible by 11, so just add the odd digits minus the sum of the even digits and then, or the even places, I mean. And then just get the difference. If you get 0 or 11, that is divisible by 11. So, gamitin natin, divide na natin to by 11, so that is 23. So, kung ulitin ko ah, yung sum ng mga nasa odd places minus yung sum ng, ng mga nasa even places, must be either 0 or 11 or anything divisible by 11. So, ano na mangyari, sir IJ? So, we rewrite it into its prime factorization. So, we have 2 cubed since tatlo yung 2 multiplied by 11, sorry, but multiplied by 23. So, how do we get now, sir? How do we count the number of integral factors? So, before we count this one, we will first get the number of positive integral factors. So, yung positive integral factors nito, you will just add 1 to the exponents and then multiply everything. So, ang exponent nito ay 3. So, mag-add tayo ng 1. Don't forget the 1 that we will add to the exponents and then just multiply everything. So, 4 times 2 times 2, that is equal to 16. And this indicates the number of positive integral factors of the given number. However, since we are just dealing with the integral, we can consider the negative ones. So, there are also 16 negative, right? So, you just multiply this by 2. So, IJ, why did you multiply again it by 2? Because the number of positive integral will also be the number of negative integral factors of the given number. So, therefore, the final answer for the problem is 32. So, sana mga Lodi Geeks, naintindihan nyo or na-refresh man lang kayo when it comes to these type of questions. And I hope you all the best. Happy New Year ulit. Kita-kits sa mga tutorial natin, sa mga susunod pa. And hopefully, makapag-live ulit tayo. Bye-bye, mga Lodi Kicks. God bless.